the good brother Gregory, I'm glad you brought all that up because well, I want to ask you, uh, really, I, I definitely want to get your opinion about what happened out in, in, LA, in L.A., the Chris mm-hmm. Donner situation, the yeah. cop. I mean, what's your take on that? Well, see, the good thing is, is this is happening. We discuss it on Black History Month. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so now we go to California, and there was a, a document. You saw that, right? Mm-hmm. He released. Did you did you see the the uh, memorandum that he released threatening fifty people? Yeah, I saw that the manifesto that Chris Donner. Yes, sir. Now wait a minute. Did you see the real one or did you see the one with all the blackouts in it? Oh, I saw the one. that said it was here. Like he talked about the different things at the end about pop culture references and yeah, that. yeah. But I mean, okay. the, the the one of them they released had. Big black marks marking out the names of the white folks. You I didn't see that one. No, I saw his, uh, the original one that was going there, on. No, you saw the one that wasn't blacked out. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So now, <clears throat> when you read that, and after the show, <clears throat> we need to go back and read that again. If it wasn't so long, I'd ask you to read it to your folks. Mm-hmm. And you see something. One, there's two people wrote that. Mm. I don't believe that. Don was that nice, goody goody guy that everybody said, well, I think he was a government agent. And he was going to do some things to kill cops. But I knew that six months ago they're going to start killing cops. All this here is to get rid of the gun law. Okay? Mm-hmm. And white folks don't seem to think that you ain't going to get no legislation. They don't seem to know. If I scare you enough, I don't need no law if you don't believe that ass. Black folks, they never got a law for stopping fish, did they? They just scared black folks enough. We tolerate you got black folks in some neighborhood. They got so scared. They said, Would you, could you send the National Guard in? I can't find no more whiter outfit than that. That's that white boy's summer job. <laughs> you know? And that's what they're fixing to do. That's what they're fixing to do. Uh, Dornan, he said, here's what happened. Uh, you know that cop that was brutalizing that, 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 that person Dornan was talking about? You know that was a white woman cop, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Sergeant Evans now. Tiffany you know, Evans. So the guy who they was brutalized was mentally retarded. He was white. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Did you know that? I didn't know he was white. No, sir. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how they do it when they want to do it. Mm-hmm. When it gets out, they just, you know, you think it was a Negro, that he might have been lying. Right? Mm-hmm. Then they double-crossed him. And, 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 and the, see, the CIA and the FBI have always run herd on that L.A. all the way down that department. Mm-hmm. Now, let's look back to the Friday, the Thursday, when the first two people got killed. After that, they said he did it. He went to San Diego, California, and checked in the Hilton Hotel on a naval base. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looking for him. Mm-hmm. Manifesto out there. They looking for him. Huh? Mm-hmm. He's on naval base. He, see, there's some stuff with the Navy that Americans don't know about. Where he was, he was above. A million times above Navy SEALs. Navy SEALs don't even know about them. Hmm? Mm. That was Dawn, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't it funny we haven't seen a picture of his mother? Hmm? Yes. We ain't seen nobody in front of his house, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, think about that. Mm. I mean, the care, the press don't care. You might not talk to them, but they're going to be in front of your house, in front of your job, right? Mm-hmm. And then you start seeing all the rumble, all the news coming out of this and that, and the people that were scared, and and, and I mean he, I mean the the the, 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 the he almost felt sorry for those thugs he was talking about because he he mentioned those guys was saying all that nasty stuff about Jews all the time, mentioned their names, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and all of this, but if you notice the. Towards the end of it, the the, the the black folks he was talking about tend to be kind of right wing, you know. Mm-hmm. So how could this guy that sounds left, right, so upset about Polish brutality? The whole government operation. Now let's move to the day when he tried to steal a 
a yacht, remember? Right. Mm-hmm. Went to the yacht club, right? Mm-hmm. Tied up this 80-year-old man and realized there was some rope around the the the, the, the uh, propeller. Hey, man, he's trained. He's trained. He's trained to go all over the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an easy job. Cut the rope off your propeller, huh? Mm-hmm. But, but, but more than that, I mean, you mean the yacht club just had one yacht? <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing which made strange sense, they said he he went from there. He was going to go from there to Mexico, right? Right. Can you imagine a guy this smart and this high up in intelligence? He's so stupid. He didn't know that you better not go across that water on your way to Mexico in a yacht. The Coast Guard will stop you, search, probable call to see if you got guns, running, drugs, or money laundering. So he's mm-hmm. too smart for that. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And so I was all, I was saying that whole time they were looking for him. He, he they didn't probably kill him. He didn't know that. Hmm? Mm-hmm. So now he reemerges. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Up in the up in the hills in the mountains, right? In Big Bear, yes. Mm-hmm. And we find out that he was he kidnapped the man and his wife. That they didn't they didn't live there. They owned those uh, those villas. They was coming just to clean them up because they had some people coming in. <laughs> they had some people coming in, all right. <laughs> so when they get there, he's there in the house, huh? Now, let me tell you where this house that he's in is located, right across the street from the police's command center. Right. Okay? And, you know, it's always good when you recount something, to, to check the police scanner, not the 911. Mm-hmm. And then listening to the police scanner, they heard something shocking. They heard one of the cops say, kill him up, burn him up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they never tried to explain that, but they said, well, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll explain that in a little while. Now, let's go back to, to, to Sandy Hook, Newtown. Huh? Mm-hmm. Did you hear the tapes of the police scan over that? No, I heard people, I, you, know, you talked about it, and also people made reference to it in different uh, articles I read. Yeah, well, you can pull it up. It's, it's, on the, it's the police scan. Huh? It's the mm-hmm. car. You know, Hollywood actors, he's the cops. He said, we got one in the car. We got another one down on the ground, handcuffed. And we have a... Uh, oh, there's another one with a gun. We'll bring him in. Mm-hmm. Like that. Now they tell us it was... And from my folks, they said they came in, the three came in dressed as nuns. Mm-hmm. A mile and a half down the street from the school where all that killing was going on, the United States government was running a dry run on how to defend schools against terrorists, huh? Mm. A mile and a half, 500 people, ambulances, fire, everything, and and nobody knew this was going on. Hmm? And so, so when you stop and think about, you know, the games that this government plays, so now let's go back to that night. We all watched it on TV, right? Mm-hmm. And they said, oh, it's on fire, it's on fire. Right. Then the first thing you think about what they said, burn the MF up. Huh? Mm-hmm. So now, you keep, they keep showing you the fire and the fire and the fire. And then they said, well, it's over. We think it's dead. Look, they have these planes can fly over anything, anybody, and pick up your heat shield. Mm-hmm. So they knew how many people was in that place or how many wasn't in there, right? Mm-hmm. So now they say, we sure is dead, but the, the place is so hot. Uh, we, we we can't go in there till morning. The morning came, and, and then a little while later, we heard the story that some cops must have took some pictures. And they trying to sell them to the press. You still saw that, right? Mm-hmm. And they saying that it's... Head, top of his head was gone where he shot himself in the head. How many people shoot themselves in the top of their head, man? <laughs> it's crazy. Who shoots themselves in the top of the head? The rest of the face, his teeth is there. His dental work is intact. Got one leg, one arm missing. His uh, penis is there. 
Now let me tell you what that was about. That was to say to the whole world, we did not do what you heard somebody say do on the tape, right? Mm-hmm. Burn the MF up. Uh, we, this is proof that he's not burned up. We see his eyeball. Wait a minute. Y'all told us that fire was so hot, y'all couldn't even go in there. Right. Till the next day. Now you tell me you found all of this? That's like a couple of days before they found his driver's license in San Diego. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. He left his driver's license, his police gun, his police shield, and his badge. So wait, 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 wait. When cops get fired, don't you take their gun, their shield, and their badge? Come on, y'all. Come on. What New York time, boy? <laughs> y'all going crazy. Yeah, right. What is this about? Mm-hmm. Huh? And so, and, and so, and look, it ain't over yet. Oh, no. Mm. This is this a huge operation. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And you're going to see some mess because they after the guns. They do the same thing Hitler and them Nazis did. They scared them Germans and made them turn in their guns because what they had, what they fixing to do in this country. Huh? They can't afford to have people with guns. And mm-hmm. the right wingers, they've been knowing about this plan for 50 years, right? Mm-hmm. And so this is what this is this is what that was about. And you 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 sorry for the families and. But these people saying, well, why did, you know, Negroes is funny, man. Right. But why did he have to, I can understand, but killing innocent, wait a minute, <laughs> y'all, did y'all make any, do you know there's a 10-year period and every other month some white boy walk in the post office and start wiping people out? Mm-hmm. You haven't heard of that in about four years, right, right? So right. Then they must have fixed something, right? <laughs> 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 they said, well, wait a minute, each other got the same pattern. They're all white. <laughs> They all been abused, mm-hmm. and so now we better fix this. Okay, I didn't hear no Negro saying, "How come they had to kill innocent people?" What, what gives you the authority to comment just on black things? Right, uh, little black child walking around with their pants hanging down. Well, the mafia never. You ever looked outside your house or drive around see a dope pushing on the corner? They pants ain't hanging down below their butt. Mm. Them cops that's helped put dope and shielding folks, they pants is not a, the the blade man he didn't have his pants hanging down below his butt. <laughs> what, what are y'all trying to say, man? The mafia is the most immaculate dressed people on the planet. Mm-hmm. The Italian tailors, man, make them up. So why y'all stop being crazy? And just just leave stuff alone. I just want you are you confirming that Chris Donner is dead? You feel like he's dead after well, I think he's been dead. I think they killed him after the first day or before that, you know. That's, so you believe you killed all those people or you think that was a set up too? No, no, wait, I'm, I'm going to say this again. Would he kill two people on Thursday and show up at the Hilton Hotel on a naval base? Well, no. oh, he might have, he might have, but they show how connected he is with them. Mm-hmm. But you do things and you don't know the people you're doing it for and they don't kill you. They got out there what they need. Hmm? Yeah, because, you know, I've never seen his mom on TV. I know they said Jesse Jackson, seeing her offering, you know, his services to help him turn himself in. But they have been showing his, quote, unquote, best friends from uh, college on TV. On you said they have? They have shown his best friends. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. They show us who they say is his best friend. Exactly. They're all trying to get it. So, I mean, I've never seen his mom make a public statement or anything like that. Yep, yep, yep. So, that, that's like I say, this press here, they would stand in front of your house, Mom. Hmm? Right. <laughs> You can't hide from them. Now, you might not say anything, but they're going to be there with you.